Welcome Aries to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon. Intuition bringing messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the ones watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and all angels, nice and great as good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, Aries, let me go ahead and tap in to the person that is coming towards you in love. Spirit, please bring forth clear messages in regards to the person that is connected to Aries and love. Who is the person that wants to show through? Who is connected to Aries and love? What can you reveal to me about this person that is connected to Aries? Okay, so I see here that this is a friend. Okay, they may come up, come off as being friendly. Uh, maybe there's a friendship, and I see there's fearless and free. There's a confession and there's boundaries okay now honestly this is the second take that i had to do for aries and uh in the first shuffle it was very similar in nature okay so you could be done with a friend okay and there's a confession about some kind of boundaries that they need to do maybe your person doesn't want to cross those boundaries but they're being fearless right now possibly because maybe you're free maybe this person is free but let's go ahead and see spirit can you please bring forth clear messages in regards to this person that is connected to aries and love what is going on with the unconscious or subconscious of this person thank you So we have stability. This relationship can stand the test of time. So whoever this person is, um, they're coming to you with an offer of stability. And I really feel like uh, maybe you guys are friends. Okay. And it's actually stable. Okay. You don't have to stress about this situation. So I have a feeling that your person is coming towards you with transparency. Okay, at least that's what it seems like. Because I see here balance. One person is giving too much into this relationship so um is that you or is that this person let's see we have self-care clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting so i have a feeling that your person um they need to set some boundaries maybe um they need to clear their energy um before they can interact with you and also we have an addiction and reverse an addiction is affecting this relationship so th they're confessing that they're actually getting over an addiction um for some i feel that it could be an alcohol addiction um and so that's why this person is setting healthy boundaries and they're coming to you because they know that they need to do more self-love and self-care this this is a friend okay so i have a feeling that there is a friend that's coming towards you um, who really wants to stabilize and offer balance in this connection and finally we have an awakening someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation so your person is being very very clear very transparent um that they used to have an addiction and uh they're actually healing okay that's actually very positive so let's go ahead and see what else spirit can you please reveal to me what is the energy of this person 
that is connected to my Aries in love. Who is this person that is coming towards Aries? How do they currently think of you? How do they feel? What do they want? And what is the outcome? So, wow. So, they're at a crossroads here and they're trying to make a decision. For some, okay, maybe this person lives uh, at a distance. Okay, maybe you guys are connecting with one another through uh, social media. This could be through text messaging, email. Uh, that's what I'm sensing. And also, uh, this person is coming back. So, this could be uh, like an old flame. This could be a past uh, friendship. Okay, someone that uh, you've known in the past, whoever this person is, I feel like they want to return. Okay, so you have already interacted with this person, you know, and, um, you know, I feel like maybe their pride got in the way. For some, uh, they could come towards you within six days to six weeks. Take it as it resonates. Um, I have a feeling that uh, they're a very public type person. Maybe uh, they're kind of well known uh, among their social groups or their so, uh, social circles. That's what I'm sensing. And um, they had a hard time of making that choice. Okay. And they really feel like they couldn't offer you much in the physical. So perhaps this person held back their energy because they couldn't really approach you in a physical sense. They couldn't really offer you um, any kind of commitments. And um, it's because they needed to love themselves first. So they had to set some boundaries. I have a feeling that this person is confessing that they have like some kind of addiction everyone's addiction is going to be different but i really feel very strongly that it's alcohol okay and that's got to be for someone and your person is starting to realize okay that um if they blocked you they're starting to unblock themselves and you know maybe the truth is actually going to come out when they start uh confessing or start opening themselves up to communicate that um they really want to have a fresh new start with you okay possibly within a month uh this person is going to open up towards you and offer you like a new beginning yeah i really feel like it's in regards to a friendship for some this could be a gemini that is coming towards you i really feel like uh, this person feels like a soulmate could be your twin flame um but whoever this is this person is coming towards you with stability i definitely see here that you guys are equal Okay, this feels very balanced. And I saw that uh, in the underlying energy here. Okay, one person was giving too much into the relationship. So I feel like your person wants to come back and offer you balance. Okay, but right now, um, they're they're taking a moment uh, to really figure out which way that they, they should go. And um, again, resolve the past and moving forward. Okay, uh, because they have been in their head. Maybe this person was overthinking that they were too fickle. They were coming in and out of your life. And they really want to have like a, a new chapter with you. So this is a destined connection. Um, they really want to have it all with you. Right now, I feel like it's a living arrangement. Uh, maybe uh, they kind of live at a distance. That's the feeling that I'm getting. Um, there's something here about a home, okay? Uh, you know, so maybe love was one aspect, but really it's about their living arrangement or their living situation. So I have a feeling that you're actually at a distance from this particular person. Um, and they're just afraid, they're afraid to uh, talk about this third party situation. This is something that they possibly kept to themselves and they weren't really so open to talk about it. Uh, I have a feeling that maybe there was more than one person here that was involved in this situation. Now, this person doesn't have to have multiple suitors, but that could be uh, one reality. But the other thing I'm also picking up on is that there's gossip, okay, among their community of people. This could be a family, okay? It feels like a group, whatever the case is. And now your person wants to give you an offer, okay? So they feel like they couldn't before. Now they want to come in and make some sort of offer towards you because they've really thought about this whole separation and they weren't happy and they came to terms with how they felt. 
honestly, you know, I see her wine, wine glasses. So the wine is spilled over. You know, like I said, I, I felt really strongly that it was um, like a drinking issue. Okay. And that's for some. But whoever this person is, they're going to come in and confess to you that they are maybe addicted to uh, a way of being. And now they want to offer a sense of stability. They know that they weren't really loving themselves. And they knew that they had to set healthy boundaries. They knew that you were kind of different. Okay, because I have a feeling that your person wants to tell you the truth about something. Okay, that they want to free themselves. Maybe they want to be single. Uh, maybe they want to uh, reestablish themselves. They have dreams. They have uh, goals in life. And again, I see her wine. What the heck? <laughs> Somebody here really likes their wine. Okay. And um, the other thing I'm also getting is that uh, they know that they're being manipulative. Okay, so uh, maybe in, uh, in the very beginning, um, they didn't have any expectations. Maybe they thought that you were just, you know, someone like a passerby, but they realized that you actually mean a lot more to them than they realized. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. And um, they just weren't very clear with their motives or their intentions when they first met you. Okay, and they were really blocked. They really couldn't see, possibly because of uh, their confession with their addictions. And now that you guys have been in separation, your person has the, the time to really think, okay, that um, they weren't really being, uh, you know, open towards you. They may have come off as being rude, kind of a jerk, okay, maybe a B and um now that they're sober uh they're possibly confessing that they apologize for acting that way they just weren't in their right mind um they may tell you at that point that uh, they have a personal issue okay and they've gone through some sort of awakening so if you guys have been in separation you know maybe this person was your friend maybe uh you guys started off as friends and it developed into something more and um it's about stability so your person is really being authentic right now and they really see that you did that you did shine the light on their personal issues and um, they recognize that you actually uh, gave them courage to really work on themselves and also um, really shine the light on, on themselves you you did make them happy so they're waiting for the right time Okay, I really feel you guys are in separation. Uh, this may be within three days to three weeks. Okay, your person has been holding back because they were moody. I feel like it's because they're detoxing. Okay, I, I really feel very strongly that someone here is going through some detoxing, like a 21 day type situation. Take as it resonates, guys. Okay, um, and uh, they have a hard time of communicating, but I feel like you're going to receive some sort of communication from them at least within two months, okay? Eight days. So six to eight days, you could, uh, could get contact, but it could take up to two months, okay? This person is going to tell you that, um, you know, you actually balance them. They're only thinking about themselves, and they realize that you actually fulfill them in some mysterious way emotionally and they kept it a secret they weren't being honest with you and now they want to tell you the truth that they had a lot going on and at first they, they didn't really want to invest into this for a long term they really didn't see that it would work out that way and um they got tired of defending themselves you know for some i'm getting like maybe your person was a player in the past and they did have multiple options but now they're not entertaining that you know maybe because of their alcohol addiction there was a confession you know that they they made some you know past decisions that wasn't so great is what i'm hearing and um what i'm also getting is that now they're aware that they have to set boundaries because they didn't really love themselves now your person wants to be stable okay and uh financially maybe uh their uh, addiction was actually uh tapping into their wallet um that's what i'm getting 
it, you know, it kind of got out of hand. And, um, you know, uh, it, it actually affected, uh, you know, their uh, income, their stability. Maybe, uh, you know, there were some bills that they had to pay and they recognized that they needed to cut out some aspects about their um, their lifestyle is what I'm hearing. So they can actually be happy. So instead of being codependent on alcohol or whatever this addiction is, they recognize that you, okay, you Aries, could actually bring that out of this person. And this person is realizing they're going through an awakening. Now they're being fearless. Now they want to be free. They want to free themselves from any kind of unhealthy attachments. They want to be stable. They want to have boundaries. Okay. They realize that they were not loving themselves. There is a major confession that's coming through and it's, they're letting go of some kind of toxic addiction that they used to have and they want to start off as friends or maybe this is a friend. But this is really uh, like a, a cleansing energy is what I'm getting. Let's see what else. So your person is seeing that they want to have a brand new beginning. Um, they're emotionally holding themselves back uh, because you guys have been in separation. And um, I really feel that your person wants to get out of um, hiding, right? So they've been hiding the fact that they have deeper feelings than what you know, but they were uh, protecting themselves, you know, because they don't want to hurt, hurt them, you know, hurt, hurt their ego and pride. That's what I'm getting. So how do they feel? So again, okay, there's a third party that got in the way of the situation. That's why they couldn't really work on this. Now they're taking the lead. Okay, I see here the Emperor energy, and that's your energy. Also, that's Divine Masculine. Um, you know, if you're connecting with a, a, a Divine counterpart. Now, what do they want? I see that they have options here. Okay, and they realize that having options didn't make them happy. It actually it made them miss the opportunity to have a relationship. And so, what I'm getting with this is that they know that they need to get out of a, a situation because um, they need to make a choice. I feel like now they're doing like a review. Now we're going through a Mercury retrograde right now. So they're looking at their options and they're recognizing that they took too long to reconcile with themselves and also with you. And uh, maybe for some, they're actually in another commitment or relationship and um, they need to get out of that before they approach you. The other thing I'm also getting is that uh, maybe in the past uh, two to four months, okay, um, your person missed the opportunity to work it out with you. Okay, now uh, your person has been thinking. Okay, so if it's been uh, two to four months, um, I feel like within a month, your person's going to make a choice. Okay, so in the outcome, they're holding themselves back, but they're reflecting again. Yeah, your person is making the plan. Now, I have a feeling that you and this uh, individual are not living close by. Okay, I feel that you guys are at some kind of traveling distance. That's what it feels like because I keep saying like uh, the globe or travel. Um, so it's not uh, like a close connection. Okay, like you have to actually drive or fly, maybe ride a boat, um, something like that. Like you guys aren't aren't that easily accessible. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. And, um, you know, uh, again, they're just too much in their head and they're not very clear. That's why uh, they need to really balance themselves. Again, they know that maybe you gave more to this person than this person was giving towards you. So your person needs time. I really feel that within a month, okay, you know, if it's not, uh, you know, six days or six weeks, um, or maybe, what did I see? It was three days, three weeks. Uh, your person is going to uh, actually open up towards you, but they're going through an awakening right now. So let's see. What is the confession that your person would like to say towards you? <clears throat> what does your person want to confess? Fear. 
fear. My past experiences made it difficult for me to open up my heart to someone again. I feared you were too good to be true. So whoever this friend is, okay, um, they had fear to open up, you know. I have a feeling that, you know, for some, this could be a twin flame. Uh, for others, I mean, this could be a soulmate. Uh, whatever the case is there's a confession like you actually are helping this person to get out of whatever cycle that they're in you know it feels very strong like a soulmate connection because a friend could be a soulmate and um this person recognized that you're a very important person to them and you made them realize that um they had a personal issue you help them change maybe you're a catalyst uh, for them to recognize that uh, you know they needed to work on themselves more you know uh, that that's the feeling that I'm getting yeah let's see what else what are the messages that this person like to say Is it possible to forgive and forget? I can't seem to find the right words to say to you right now. You know, your, your person has a hard time of expressing their feelings, that's for sure. But, you know, give it some time, okay? Um, this person is coming uh, to you with authenticity. You know, they had fear, but now they're working on their fears. That's what I'm getting. That's actually really positive. So let's see. What is the guidance that Spirit wants you to know? What is the guidance that you need to know at this time? So if this uh, channeling has been resonating with you, this is your guidance. We have Ma'at, fairness. This situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. So there will be fairness, there will be balance. And that's the whole thing about this channeling. So your person knows that there was no balance. Now they're coming in with balance and it was because of fear. And now they're being fearless. Do you see? Now they're freeing themselves from the fear because fear is an illusion. And why? Because your person is going through an awakening okay they're going through a spiritual transformation and that's what i have so i really hope that this channeling was helpful let me know thank you all for all your comments your likes your shares and subscribes and if you're new to my channel welcome i provide daily guidance messages here for the collective and if you'd like to book a personal reading with me you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com you can also follow me on ig as scorpio moon intuition i hope you all have a lovely day and i will see you next time Bye bye